Nurse A accused of sexually assaulting three elderly men at facility. This doesn't look good at all. Article from March 4th. Massillon. M-A-S-S-I-L-L-O-N. Massillon. A former employee at a local assisted living facility is accused of sexually assaulting elderly men there. Tiara L. Ford, 23, was arrested at 4.24 p.m. Thursday at her home, according to Star County Jail Records. Her addresses are listed in court and jail records as Roslyn Avenue Southwest in Canton and Arapaho, Arapaho Road. Southeast in Massillon. Four was indicted Thursday and warrants were issued charging her with rape and two counts of gross sexual imposition. Massillon police announced Friday afternoon that her arrest followed a two week investigation into her employment as a state tested nurse aide at the inn at University Village, an assisted living facility. The investigation led to video recordings of Ms. Ford, mm, video, imagine that, video recordings of Ms. Ford, sexually assaulting elderly residents of the facility according to the news release. Stark County court records show the incidents reportedly occurred between December 1st, 2019 and December 4th, 2021. The men were in their late 80s and early 90s. The court records also allege Ford was well aware that their ability to consent or resist was substantially impaired because of a mental or physical condition or because of advanced age. The release noted that the facility is fully cooperating with the police conducting the investigation. A woman who answered the phone at the inn at University Village on Friday afternoon told the Canton Repository that the facility has no comment at this time. Forced jail paperwork lists her as unemployed. She remained behind bars late Friday, held without bond pending court hearings. Police are asking anyone with information about any of the incidents to call them <laughs> at 330-830-1734 as the investigation is continuing. So, uh, I was kind of curious, where is this place? I never heard of this place before, Massalon. So I did check, and uh, let me see here, Massalon. Lincoln Way. Massalon is a city in Stark County, in the U.S. state of Ohio, approximately 8 miles west of Canton, 20 miles south of Akron, and 50 miles south of Cleveland. The population was 32,146 at the 2020 census. So let's go check the 2020 census, right? City here, quick facts, Massillon City, Ohio, right, and um, let's see the population, census, April 1st, 2020, and even 2010, look at that, in, in 2010, it was 32,149, in right and in 2020 a difference of 10 years april 1st it's 
32,146. So it changed by three. <laughs> by three people in 10 years. Maybe three people died. Maybe people don't give birth there. You know? Yeah. Because it's like, it's just about nearly the same. So I'm kind of curious, why would this woman want to have sex with men, with these old men? No? Um, let's see. So, persons under 18, persons under 5 years percent will be 6.1 percent. Those are kids. Person under 18 years percent is 21.9 percent. Right? And person 65 years and older would be 19.5%. Okay. So if you add that up, it comes up to 47.5%, which would be like off limits to her. Right? So she's dealing with like, uh, I don't know, maybe like 52.5%. That's the number she has to play around with. But remember, this is a this is a place with a small population. Now, they show the female female persons, and when they say female, that could include these little kids here under five years old, you know, five years old, under eighteen years old. It's fifty point four percent female. Keeping, keeping in mind that in that 50.4% female, that would include like little kids, five years and under, under five years, and minors 18 years or under 18 years old. Okay, so they put the female percent, they didn't put the men, I guess you can extrapolate, <laughs> you know. 50.4 and just do the subtraction from 100 and you get like like 49.6 percent it would be men so I'm kind of I'm kind of and they they listed different races of the people like 87 86.7 percent white um, 7.9 percent black American Indian, very small percentage. Asians, very small percentage. There. Right. And let's see. White alone, not Hispanic or Latino, per percent would be 85.6%. And then they go on to list some other stuff here. Yeah. Now you gotta ask yourself, what would what would possess this woman? I mean, it's like okay. So I get it. The population is small, and uh, <laughs> maybe there are not enough men there. I remember I was in a in a in a chat room some years ago. Maybe like I don't know, probably three years ago, in part part talk. And I got a message from a, a young lady, and uh, she wanted to hook up with somebody, and she was asking me if I'm available. And you know, I asked her a few questions. Where was she? And she said she's in a place called Mountain View. Yeah, Mountain View in California. Mountain View, sometimes I see that on TV, like people do interviews and so forth. And she said, you know, I hear in Mountain View, none of these, none of these guys are worth it, she told me. Yeah, none of them are worth it. So she was looking to get out of California, and she was looking to find somebody. So that, that was my opportunity. <laughs> that was my opportunity right there, right? Um, I could have had a lady from from Mountain Mountain View. She wasn't old or anything. She told me she didn't have any kids and so forth. So 
I'm saying here to myself after reading this story about this this nurse's aide, she probably can't find anybody there, and maybe. But these men are so old, you know. And they say like two of the men were were over ninety. Yeah. Over ninety years old. Okay. <laughs> This is really crazy. Let me see right here. The men were in their late eighties and early nineties. My goodness. You would think men those ages you wouldn't even be able to have sex with them, right? That's the first thing you would think of, you know? After hearing about all the stuff Viagra and all that stuff. You would assume, how could a woman even be charged with rape? So, she's going to need a good lawyer who's going to argue like me, for example, and say, well, you can't really believe this woman was having sex with men that at that all, right? Because I have a hard time believing it. They claim they have a, a videotape, but yet they... they ask anyone with information to call them. Well, if you have a videotape, why do you need people to call you <laughs> if you got information? You know? So, it's, it's, I'm really kind of curious and she's locked up. She doesn't, she's not even out on bail or anything like that. I don't think she got any bail. Yeah. Let's see. It says, yeah, she remains, she remained behind bars late Friday, held without bond. Pending court hearings. Oh, so she has to uh, she has to get a, a court hearing. Then maybe she'll get a chance for bail or bond. You no. Know? Well, anyway. So I like to do some background research to see what's behind uh, the mind. Why would somebody engage in behavior like that if that's the case? And what would, you know, but being that she's from a small town, I get the impression, just like the, just like the girl who messaged me from Mount, Mountain View, California, she said, you know, I hear none of the men are worth it, she told me, and I'm looking to see if I can hook up with somebody that I could change my life, get out of this place, yeah. So, you know, but I didn't, I didn't really get too far with her because I don't know, you know, sometimes some woman could be psychotic too, <laughs> could be online. I mean, she looked fine and everything from, from what I see, but, uh, you never know. I could have brought her over here to New York and then she turns out to be a psycho. Yeah. Like in one of those horror films. You see in the in the in the movies, and that's the last thing I need. While sleeping at night, have to lock up all my knives. <laughs>